What's good, guys? If you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to my sponsor. Link down below for the most cheapest, fastest, most reliable MC on their internet right now. Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another video. And guys, today, uh, we got a new free promo pack because we did get the $100 edition. First day of my team. You know what? I didn't really play yesterday. Today's the legit first day of my team. Yesterday was more of a content day. Um, Pretty... Pretty good day, honestly. If you guys are new to the channel, sub it up, guys. More likes, more subs, more comments, more interaction. All that means we give away stuff, bro. We'll do a weekly giveaway, whether it's MT, whether it's giving away a game, whether it's anything. Just like, comment, sub, follow Instagram, follow Twitter, follow everything, bro. We're on the road to 49 subs. We're doing this all the time. We are going to grind. We're going to grind. We're going to grind. And in this video, we're actually going to look at the market because it's crashed. We had our first market crash in NBA 2K22 history because of these new packs right here. And if you guys didn't see my pack opening, make sure to go check that out. Um, because we did actually pop some packs with our only 100,000 VC. We're going no money spent this year. <clears throat> I'm not spending a dime, guys. I'm not spending a dime. But anyways, let's go over the market. Um, graded cards, Giannis, all this stuff. Make sure to go check out my vids because we did post five yesterday. Oh, man, it feels so good to make 2K content again, guys. Sapphire Giannis. It looks like his price is going to stay around this price for a little bit. Um, his stats might not be good, but you guys all know how OP Giannis is. And he's going to be one of my first players. So, um, pretty cool stuff. I'm just going to look over the market, man. I'm going to talk about pricing. I'm going to tell you what the prices were yesterday and what they are today. Um, the Amethysts have dropped a giant. And I mean a crazy, giant, crazy amount. Um, you know what? Let's open this pack up while we're here. Let's see what we can get. I'm hoping for the best. Collect five Pistons players. Whoa, wait a second. Does that mean we just pulled like a Kate Cunningham or something? An Emerald player. I'll take it. Joe Dumars. That's very nice. I do like Joe Dumars. Bronze Blinders might go for something as well. Let's apply this. We also graded my first player. And it doesn't show it over here, which is pretty interesting. Um, I graded my Cade Cunningham. He came out on eight gem mints. Which is pretty cool. But anyways, you guys are here for the market crash. We're going to go over who I think you should pick up. <clears throat> Only thing is, it's hard to invest right now. It really is. We're going to look over Mono Ginobili. We're going to look over all the rubies from yesterday. Because I remember their prices being pretty expensive. Um, so let's look over Mono Ginobili. I saw one was going up for a bid with 4k left. Alright, yeah. Mono Ginobili took a huge hit. <clears throat> and in my opinion, I think he's a pretty damn good buy. At 4700 I think he's a pretty good buy. Not only that, I think you guys can make a ton of MT off this crash. And how are you going to do that? I think sniping the new Colossal cards is going to make you a lot of MT. The market's going to be nice and fresh with these new Colossal cards. These cards are going to make the market go absolutely insane. And I think you can make a lot, a lot, a lot of MT. Also, guys, if you guys need MT, hit me up. I'm buying and selling MT. I have a lot of MT in stock already. So if you guys do need, make sure to hit me up. Um, an Amethyst, man. If you do get a nice little Amethyst snipe, that's pretty cool. This guy got the George McGinnis. Some of these draft reset cards are definitely hard to get. Um, I'm definitely going to start looking at Domination. Domination looks pretty, pretty cool, not going to lie. But you guys can pick up some Amethyst cards. Dan Issel, man. This guy's a beast. Uh, who else do we get? Rolando Black, and he's pretty cool. Dan Issel, doesn't he shoot? Oh, he can't shoot. That's a L. <clears throat> Noticing... 2K is doing a good job with one thing and one thing only. No one could really shoot down low. That Zebo could shoot. That Zebo might be a beast. I do like Zebo. I'll have to scoop up that Zebo and Giannis. Zebo and Giannis as a pair down low. Pretty cool. But yo, the market is crashed. Now, how are you going to make MT? Well, here's a couple things, bro. You just have to you just have to snipe. Literally, just go literally like this. Amethyst and just scroll. Amethyst, just scroll. Ruby, just scroll. Any of these new cards in the packs, they're going to be the most used, bro. This 7 gem mid, that sucks. Um, but pretty much, man, this is how you have to refresh. You don't have to move the minimum. You don't have to move the maximum. This pretty much is how you do it. And then also, the diamond cards. Let's check out Shaq. Let's check out Deron Williams. Their price did jump up a little bit. They're very, very rare, guys. These packs just dropped before. These packs are rare. And honestly, it looks like a lot of people aren't on 2K yet, to be honest. Looks like a lot of people aren't on 2K. Let's check out the cheapest rubies. This might be a really good way to make MT. Um, the, the, the ruby filter might be a really, really good way to make MT. Same with the sapphire, because there's some really expensive sapphires still. 
Um, even emeralds are relevant, which is pretty crazy to me. Um, I know y'all's expensive. What's Durant's cheapest value, you know? Um, what's Simmons? What's Ben Simmons? Because Ben Simmons is always OP in the game of 2K. 81 overall. He's rare as well. 3,000 MT. I feel like he's kind of worth it. If, if What can you play him at? Power forward? What can you play Giannis at? Just power forward as well. Okay. That's pretty interesting. But yeah, pretty much what I'll be sniping today. I feel like rubies are going to move the most. Um, I would definitely keep your eyes on Manu, obviously. None of these OG dudes, though. Pretty much anything other than the OG dudes. More of current day players. Current day players are definitely a better buy. Um, these OG dudes are definitely not going to go for that much. I'm just saying. Keep your eyes on the current day players to make MT today. Not only that, um, shoe cards. All right. Definitely keep your eyes on shoe cards. Now, this is very expensive. So pretty much, where's the freaking colorway shoe card or whatever? Whatever. Shoe cards, bro. Diamond. Pretty cool stuff. On next gen, it's a lot different. Oh, there we go. Okay, so shoe colorways, bro. So pretty much, you just got to look at their boosts. You just got to see what's good with it. If you do find something with really OP boosts, um, it's going to go for more. So it's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting stuff to me. Um, shoe colorway stuff, probably Nike with a boost. Probably going to be very, very expensive. Um, the Kobe shoe colorway, it's definitely going to be expensive. But uh, yeah, that's another thing that you guys have to worry about. You can make a lot of MT off the colorway boost. If they're pretty much OP, you're going to make a lot of MT. Uh, but diamond shoes, man, if you can get your hands on some diamond shoes right now, they're going for a crazy, crazy amount. But right now, market is pretty crashed day one. Diamond cards definitely rose, but the cheaper cards went down because when you guys pop packs, you guys know the cheaper cards always pop out. Um, but like I said, that's pretty much... Otis store for 4300 might be a snipe. But look, I'm telling you right now, the My Team draft set, guys, is the stuff you don't really want to pay attention to. Um, unless they're current day players, or unless it's a hype player like Manu Ginobili. Like, you know what I'm saying? No one really cares about Otis Thorpe. No one really cares about Jameer Nelson. No one really cares about Mike. And, ooh, right here. Ooh, right here. Yeah, that's what I'm buying. Ooh, yeah. People are freaking scumbags. All right, so we just got that Manu. We could sell him for like 4800 400 MT, man. 400 MT day one. It's not the best. It's not the worst. I'm not going to complain, though. We got to make some profit somewhere. Or you could just keep them. Or you could just keep them, but that's just something. Um, you never know what's going to pop up on these filters. These filters are going to be pretty dry for the next couple days. A lot of people don't have 2K yet. Got to put that into perspective, but I'll take it. Nice, quick little snipe. We're going to be working all day. We're going to be using the market all day. But yeah, that's all we got really for the video. Let me know what you guys think. The first market crash is here. And honestly, it's pretty cool. Only thing is, if you are holding your players, make sure to sell them before Monday or something because I'm a little scared about this market crash. Market's not too crashed. It's not too It's not too high either. And also, we're literally looking at Ruby cards. Ruby cards don't last long in 2K, and you guys know that for a fact. But one more price check at LaMelo. His price actually rose a ton. Which is kind of weird. Pretty much the higher end cards rose. And the lower end cards dropped. Which does make sense. I guess you could say. Alright, what's going on with this Lamello? Can you not look it up? Oh, you can't even look up his damn name. Let's go Ruby. Let's go Hornets. See what pops up now. There we go. Oh my god. Is Lamello Ball not a thing? Like what? Oh, never mind. Lamella Ball. Lamella Ball's price actually dropped a ton. And guess who I'm about to pick up? Lamella Ball. Very good buy right now. Lamella Ball's price is only going to go up. Maybe not as maybe not because he's a ruby, but I'm definitely going to try sniping him out today. But, yo, that's really all I got for the video. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys need help with anything. Um, as of right now, man, thanks for all the support. For video number one of the day, we're going to aim for at least four. Um, we got a very a lot of videos coming up, man. How to use the auction house, all that good stuff. Best token market players, best domination rewards, should you play domination, a bunch of stuff. But yo, that is all we got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a good one.
Peace.